hi, you should take out some pen and paper so you can take some notes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You will want to open up your notes app though, because it's going to be really good what we're going to talk about today. Hi, my name is Sarah and we are here with Catholic Match. It is good to have you back. We talk all things dating and relationships. And today we're gonna to talk about something that I think is really important. And that is bringing up difficult conversations with your boyfriend. There are so many types of difficult conversations we need to have. You know, you could bring up politics, just you know, go one to 10. You could bring up sexual history, relationship history, uh, family dynamics, what you want out of life, you know, what if you guys haven't talked about that and they can be really intimidating because the conversation could go really well or it could go really poorly. And that can be difficult because you can't necessarily foresee that until it happens and no one wants to have a difficult conversation. And that's really difficult to to go through, but it's also very necessary. And I'm just gonna stop saying the word difficult and dive right in. So I have a five step process that I think is pretty universal. And I think it can work with anything you wanna bring up, whether that is your sexual history or something like, hey, my parents are divorced and this is how it affects my life. Or I've noticed you've said some things that indicate we actually don't have the same plan for our future. Not to say we couldn't reconcile it, but that we may be on separate pages and I wanna be on the same page. Or bringing up stuff like politics, like social opinions, just different things where you could butt heads, but you don't want to. You wanna bring it out into the open and you wanna talk about it. So I have this five step process and I was joking about the pen and paper, but perhaps open up the notes app and take me seriously there so you can write this stuff down because I think it's really helpful. I'll walk you through it. You and I will go through it together and then you can use it for whatever difficult topic you need to bring up. All right, step number one, affirm. We want to affirm the other person. We wanna say, you know, this is an important conversation. This is a, a topic that's important to you. Therefore, it's important to me. I want to dive into this. Step number two, we're gonna dive right in. Be upfront. There's no beating around the bush. There's no being sly or coy or trying to find a good way to say it. You just be upfront. Hey, I also wanna talk about sexual history because it seems really important to you and that's a good thing. It's also important to me. My sexual history differs greatly from yours and this is how. No taking any side steps or anything like that, just being upfront. Step number three, empathize. So we want to show that we can see how they could possibly be feeling. I know this could be really difficult for you to hear. I know this is maybe something you don't wanna hear, but I'm telling you because it's important to me that you know. Which leads me into step number four and step number five, kind of compound body system here. And that is you need to be willing to talk about it and you need to be willing to feel the response. So you need to be willing to say, okay, this is what it is. This is my difficult piece of information. I'm gonna empathize with you and show you that I know that this can be difficult to take in or maybe it's not exactly what you wanna hear. And I'm completely willing to talk about it. I'm an open book, ask me anything. And they could say, Let's go and totally dive in and ask all these questions and you need to be willing to field all those questions. They could also say, that's super upsetting and I need some time and I don't wanna talk about it right now, but I'll bring it up later or ask me later or can we just talk about it tomorrow? And that also needs to be something you're okay with. And when we take this approach, it's something that while we are addressing a topic or piece of information about ourselves, about our lives, that is relevant to our relationship, it doesn't need to be completely negative. We don't have to make it a fight. It doesn't have to turn into an argument. It doesn't have to turn into an attack on character. It doesn't have to turn into an attack on the person or an attack on yourself. This is just a way that you are getting to know another person deeper and it is a privilege to get to know another person deeper. And that can be really difficult when you have hard things to talk about, but it's always worth it. So let's follow the plan. 
we want to affirm, we want to be upfront, we want to empathize, we want to be willing to listen, and we need to be willing to feel that response, whatever it is. With that, let me know what you think. Would you add any other steps, take anything away? I'm open to what you want to say. And if there's any other topics that you want me to talk about, drop them in the comments below. Let me know. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and go ahead and follow us here on YouTube at Catholic Match. And we're also over on IG, also under Catholic Match. I hope to see you over there soon. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.